Hi, Silly Moustache here, and this is the first um, of my, uh, sh hopefully, short videos about each of my guitars. And I thought I'd have to start with this one. This is my 0028 Sitka Top uh, Indian Rosewood back and sides, uh, made by a gentleman called Vince Hockey. Um, a builder in Southampton, uh, England, uh, and he built this for me for my 50th birthday in 1998. My dear wife asked me what I'd like for my 50th birthday, and I jokingly said, oh, I'd like a custom-made guitar, please, and she said, okay. Um, so we went to see his um, uh, chap, Vince, who repairs Martin guitars and builds similar ones, and he built me this. Um, he used to work for British Airways, I believe, and he did the London-New York run and so frequently visited the Martin, um, Martin factory in Nazareth and often managed to obtain tone woods from them um, that were perfectly good but rejected for some minor reason. For instance, this top was originally planned to be on a jumbo, I believe, but they used to make them with little ears uh, around the edge which um, fitted them into the machinery that um, that they used to assemble them and uh, it had one of the ears was a little cracked so they just um, uh, dumped it but you know cut down for this double O size it was perfect. Um, he refashioned it into that smaller shape, braced it as appropriate but with thicker braces than a double O would normally have because uh, he thought I was a heavy player. Um, whatever he did it worked, there were some issues uh, the bridge was wrongly placed, and this is actually the third bridge that's on it. But um, it lives on a hanger behind me in my little office upstairs, and it listens to the radio all the time. And uh, I use light strings. I often put uh, light strings that I've taken off my other guitars because it seems to respond better to slightly duller uh, guitar uh, up strings, but um, it's not exactly shy. <laughs> Trebles, Dreadnought Light Bass, while it's not exactly the shape of a Martin Double O, it's a little bit what I call hippie around here, um, the overall dimensions are the same, 1 and 7 eighths nut width, um, oh, I've forgotten what the string spacing is, um, it's, um, it's uh, uh, 14 and, and 14 and one eighth lower body um, width, and um, it's four and one eighth deep. So it's um, it's definitely a double O. It doesn't sound like many double O's, but I do think a double O is a pretty special uh, design. It, it it seems to focus everything. It's one of Martin's best, I do believe. Um, you may have noticed that the sides are somewhat paler than the back. This was not the original plan, but it spent a long time um, sitting in the lounge with the sun coming in this way, which has bleached the sun, uh, the, the rosewood, but darkened the Sitka. And so I put it upstairs into my office, which is the other side, so the sun comes in the other way. So the sides have got paler, and the top has got this beautiful honey color, which I'm quite happy with. And. Uh, I'm using it more and more at the moment, but it is um, it is primarily my working out numbers uh, guitar in my little office. So that is my Hockey 0028. Thanks for watching.